in a few minutes. I don't know what time it is, but we're going to we'll begin in a few minutes by inviting the parents and the child and the godparents to go out, outside the body of the church, out in the vestibule. That's because the first big sign is a welcoming in, okay? So when we go out there, we're going to have a little mic to use when we ask you what name do you give your child, then you can speak into the mic, okay? And what do you ask for this child? Baptism's a good word. (laughs) Something along those lines. So that's going to be out there, and then we're going to, you, the rest who are waiting in here, are going to welcome them in. We're going to sing them in, okay? So there's blue books in in the whatever those things are called, (laughs) blue books. And so if we have our canter here, which we may or we may not, I guess. Is it time? Okay, good. If he's here, he'll lead us in the singing. If not, I'll tell you the number. Okay, good. So he's going to invite you to sing. So don't just let him sing. You sing. Welcome people in, okay? And then this is a... Uh, liturgy that includes readings from scripture and uh, prayers of the faithful, you know, where we invite you to pray for the little ones and for all the community. And then when we actually do the baptisms, we'll say, everybody in the family, come back around the font and we'll, you're all welcome. And you can take pictures anywhere in here, okay? There's no restrictions on taking pictures. This is practically a party, okay? It's a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to walk around and ask each of you if you're waiting for anybody, if there's any family that's not here yet, okay? I got the, I got the we're all here, that's good, okay. Because if we're all here, what are we waiting for, right? You're all here, good. Sorry, um, apparently but there's seven minutes until official kickoff, and that means that for the live stream, they want to actually do it on time. So I'd say run around the church for a little while, okay, <laughs> you little people. And we will start at when that thing says zero. Okay, I didn't tell you the truth. We can start right now, okay? So, everybody's back, right? <laughs> so let's, let's get ready. Before you get up, we're going to go back there, parents, godparents, and the child, and we're going to make a sort of a semicircle, not too far outside the door. When, when our helper puts the mic in front of the parent's face, when we say, what name do you give your child? Be ready and say it loud, okay? Say the whole name so that we know who, you know, God knows their name, but we want to know it too, all right? So, okay, let's go back.
guys be? Be like right here. And take the last family. Be right here. Okay. There you go. Right, dear parents and godparents, your families have experienced great joy at the birth of your children, and the church shares your happiness. Today, this joy has brought you to the church to give thanks to God for the gift of your children and to celebrate a new birth in the waters of baptism. This community rejoices with you, for today the number of those baptized in Christ will be increased, and we offer you our support in raising your children in the practice of the faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to participate in this celebration by listening to God's word, praying for these children and their families, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and to his people. What name have you given your child? Lila Grace Tyler. And what do you ask of God's church for Riley Grace Tyler? We ask for baptism. Right, what name have you given your child? Amelia Marie Lilly. Mary. <laughs> and what do you ask of God's church for Amelia Marie Lilly Mary? Baptism. <laughs> what name have you given your child? Brock and what have you, what, sorry, I'm messing it up. What do you ask of God's church for Brock? Baptism. Thank you. And what name have you given your child? Gregory Min Nguyen. And what do you ask of God's church for? Baptism. Thank you. All right, in asking for baptism for your children, parents, you're undertaking the responsibility of raising them in the faith so that by keeping God's commandments, they may love the Lord and their neighbor as Christ has taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? Godparents, are you ready to help these parents in their duty? Yes. Dear children, the Church of God receives you with great joy. In her name I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ our Savior. Then after me your parents and godparents will do the same. sign his for it. Now we're ready to be welcomed into the church, so follow me to your seats. And let's sing. now for our readings. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope 
of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens. You are my beloved son. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. There are a lot of signs you're going to see in the rite of baptism that are all helping us understand what's going on, okay? The anointings, the white garment, the candle, all are telling us what's going on today. Now in the gospel we heard when Jesus was baptized, there were some big signs that let the people know what was going on. We saw the heavens opened and the Father speaking to Jesus, you are my beloved one. And we saw the Spirit coming down, empowering him. Those are three important things I hope you will remember when it comes to your children being baptized, that you will remind them of, that you'll teach them. Three things, okay? Heaven is now open to you. And the Spirit has been given to you. And the Father's voice, the Father is claiming you. You are my beloved child. It's like a song you should sing to them. Don't forget it, okay? Heaven is open. The Spirit is given to you. And you are a beloved child of God. That's what today's all about. Now, if you would please stand. We're going to have our Prayers of the faithful, they're called. It's where we as a community are praying for the children and for each other. 
Dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for these children who are about to receive the grace of baptism and for their parents, godparents, and all the baptized. So your response after each prayer would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Give these children new birth in baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection and join them to your holy church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Make them faithful disciples and witnesses to your gospel through baptism and confirmation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead them through holiness of life to the joys of the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Make their parents and godparents a shining example of the faith to these children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep their families always in your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of baptism in each of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us. us. Saint John the Baptist, pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray, pray for us. Saint Gregory the Great, Pray for us, Saint Anne. Pray for us, Saint Bonaventure. Pray for us, all holy men and women. Pray for us. Please be seated now. This is a prayer of blessing and protection, and after that we're going to do the first anointing over the heart with the oil of catechumens. Almighty and ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free these children from original sin to make them the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in them. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Excellent. children are ready. Now we're going to make the water ready. We're going to bless the water so that it is now holy water, ready for the baptism, and then it'll be time for you guys. 
to take your part. So first, let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on these children by water and the Holy Spirit. This is now a long prayer of blessing, but it recalls all of salvation history, how water has been key. So I'm gonna go back there and do the blessing, but you listen. O oh God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O oh God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O oh God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood. And after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, parents and godparents, you're about to make a profession of faith on behalf of the children. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the children you have presented are about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must, do, you must strive to bring them up in the faith so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in them day by day. If your faith makes you ready to take on this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which the children are baptized. So I'm hoping you will say I do loud and clear. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. And now it's time. Jenny is gonna call it one family at a time to come back here. Get ready. Okay. 
Okay, so at this time, we'd like to invite the family and friends of Brock, Ulysses Birkbeck, to please make your way to the baptismal font. So is it your will that Brock, Ulysses, Michael be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you? Yes. Excellent. And lean him way over. I'm going to say turn around. There you go. Lean him back. All right, Brock, Ulysses, Michael, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Woo! You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. And now we invite the family and friends of Amelia Marie Lilly to please make your way to the baptismal font. So first the question, is it your will that Amelia Marie Lily, Mary, be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you. Here you go. Amelia Marie, Lily, Mary, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. At this time, we invite the family and friends of Gregory Min Nguyen to please make your way to the baptismal font. Gregory Mim be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you. Okay. So lean him, lean back. All right, Gregory Mim, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Woohoo! You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. invite the family and friends of Lila Grace Tyler to please make your way to the baptismal font. So, 
So is it your will that Lila, Grace, and be baptized in the faith of the church, which we've all professed with you? Okay, then. <laughs> all right, very good. All right, Lila, Grace, and I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. children. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you remain, may remain members of Christ, priest, prophet, and king unto eternal life. Almost done. <laughs> Children, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring it unstained into eternal life. Another great sign, it is receiving the light of Christ. So we'd like one godparent now for each of the children, and if there's no godparent here, a, a stand-in to come back, one for each child, come back and we're gonna give you a candle lit from the Paschal candle symbolizing the light of Christ, okay.
parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your children, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as children of the light and persevering in the faith may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. Now if you would blow it out. Yeah, try that with a mask on. Yeah. <laughs> you can pull down the mask. <laughs> So that's a great sign, that light, though. It's got the pas- image of the Paschal candle. Something to keep at home, bring it out, remind, you know, celebrate this day, anniversaries, you know. Don't forget that you've received the light of Christ. And now there's another prayer, a blessing. It's called the Ephatha prayer. Ephatha means be opened. That's what Jesus said when he healed the man who couldn't hear and couldn't speak. And so at the right time here, you'll know it. Would you please make the sign of the cross over the ears and over the mouth of the children? May the Lord Jesus, who made the deaf to hear and the mute to speak, grant that you may soon receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. Amen. So now it's, it's time to conclude the rite. So I ask you to please stand for the prayer Jesus taught us and for blessings for the parents and the families. Dear brothers and sisters, these children reborn through baptism are now called children of God, for so indeed they are. Through confirmation they will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and approaching the altar of the Lord where they will share at the table of his sacrifice and will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. Now in their name and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters which we have all received, let us pray together as the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. The Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mothers of these children so that as they now give thanks for the gift of their children, they may always remain united with them in thanksgiving In Christ Jesus, our Lord, amen. Yes, we need some amens here. May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life, both in heaven and on earth, bless the fathers of these children, so that together with their wives, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith to their children. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, amen. And may the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given us birth into eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful here present, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people and maybe he bestow his peace on all who are here in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Is the right man? Yeah, there you go. But don't go yet. Sit down for a minute. She's running away with the dishes already. Okay, thank you for being here. It's a wonderful sacrament. The children are now baptized. We invite you to rejoice in practicing the faith with them. Um, Sacraments are free, but if you feel like making a donation, it helps with things. There's the envelopes. Um, Oh, you've seen the certificates. You're gonna get them officially here soon. Just make sure before you leave that everything is right on them, okay? Hopefully it's already right, but we can correct it if it's not. And the live stream is gonna wrap up here soon, but that means it'll soon be a YouTube video if you wanna watch it or share it or keep it. I suppose you can keep it. Ryan, I know I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Um, 
<laughs> we have holy water, so if you have any sacramentals, rosaries, or things like that you'd like blessed, we can do that yeah. um, following the service. Uh, we also, uh, the church is yours for the next um, quite a few minutes for photos. If you'd like to, just please be respectful of the altar area, but if you'd like to take photos to commemorate yes. the event, uh, you're welcome to. And then uh, just to reiterate, the certificates you're receiving are kind of the equivalent of like a birth certificate for your child in the church, and it'll be used as record for any future sacraments like confirmation, getting married in the church, or um, if the child becomes a priest or something like that. So make sure that everything's spelled correctly because it's easy to change today, but in the future it can get kind of confusing. So yes. that's all. Thank you. Yes. The record of this baptism is going to be here all through their life. So when they're getting married and they want to prove they've been baptized, here's the place, yes. So, yes, you may, yes, take pictures around the church. It's a beautiful, renovated church. Um, and if you want uh, sacramental items for the children blessed, we'll do it back at the font. Take your time, be gentle to each other, and thank you for being here again. Give yourselves a hand, okay? And the kiddies. All right. Quick, run to the altar.
Und nun das Licht.